Hello and welcome. It is nine o'clock. It is the 21st day of November and I am your no shave November grumpy guide to all things gaming, the OG GM. And I'm wearing a key around my neck because I'm doing laundry. We have some new gaming news. It just, I actually think this broke yesterday, but I'm just seeing it now. Um, and not surprisingly, it involves Wizards of the Coast. Uh, what, what the, what the, it's, what's going on, guys? It's like you just decided to, let's make, well, 2020 is already fucked up, so let's just make as many stupid choices as we possibly can. Fuck them. We've already made all our money from 5th edition and Critical Role, so what, everybody? So somebody else is suing Wizards of the Coast. So, just to reiterate, the Dragonlance people, Tracy Hicks and Margaret Weiss, are suing Wizards of the Coast for breach of contract. That is probably in the process of being worked on in the courts. Probably won't actually see court time, if it does see court time, to 2021. Though more, off, more likely it'll be settled out of court because that's just the way these things happen usually. But it might go to court, but more likely than not it'll be settled out of court. But now another company is suing Wizards of the Coast for breach of contract. Gale Force 9, um, who makes um, figures, they have produced miniatures, cards, DM screens, and other D&D accessories. Um, over the years, uh, they make a lot of the minis, uh, not the plastic minis. That's pretty much, you know, covered by, um, uh, the, the Pathfinder people. Um, I was, whatever. I don't know. I can't think I haven't had my coffee yet. yet. Um, so Gale Force 9 has had a, a contract with Wizards of the Coast for a while to make product for, Wizards of the Coast product, D&D and Magic. They are asking for damages of nearly a million dollars as well as an injunction to prevent WOTC from terminating the license contract. It looks like from the suit, which is on file, uh, where is it being? Uh, the U.S. District Court of Western District of Washington. So, yeah. Uh, WOTC, Wizards of the Coast, wanted to end a licensing agreement a year early. So they had an agreement to make product for them for a certain amount of time. Uh, so and then Wizards of the Coast decided to, fuck you, I know we have a contract, but we're going to just end it now. Uh, Gales Force Knight, of course, didn't agree. You, you got a contract with us for a certain amount of time. We are in good faith going to fulfill that contract, and in return, we expect you to pay us. Uh, Wizards of the Coast indicated that they would refuse to approve any new licensed products from GF9. It looks like the same sort of approach that they took with Weiss and Hickman, which also resulted in a lawsuit. This dispute, this dispute appears to relate to some product translation in non-U.S. markets. Um, da, 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 so, uh, in an update, uh, the CEO of Gales Force 9 spoke to um, some people and said, for 12 years we've been working with wizards. Uh, we find ourselves in the difficult place of having to utilize the legal system to try and resolve an issue we have spent the last six months trying to handle between us and, and them without any success. Uh, we still hope we can resolve it, but apparently was just the coast said, I know we have a contract, uh, breach of contract has been filed November 17th, 2020 with the Washington district court. So uh for un, you know breach of contract and um you know not not fulfilling and basically not paying them and saying we're not going to license any more product through you even though the contract says we do so that's two lawsuits this year that i know of plus of course all the sexual harassment lawsuits that have been placed against them and the racism uh discrimination contract uh, lawsuits that were placed against Wizard last year and earlier this year, which of course led to the re part of the reasons why Tasha's has all the stuff in it about race and stuff like that. We've talked about that in a different video. Fuck you. I, I just is like, do you not have enough money, Hasbro? You own the rights to Power Rangers. <laughs> That's multi-million dollars. You own the right to Transformers. That's multi-million dollars. You own the right to G.I. Joe. That's multi-million dollars. You owe the right to My Little Pony. That's got to be a billion-dollar industry. 
So is it you, you don't have enough money, Hasbro? I mean, Transformers and My Little Pony alone should be bringing you enough money. G.I. Joe should have made you small fortunes. Lord knows how much money you make off Power Rangers. I mean, you know, in the Americas and in every country that isn't Japan. Uh, so you're huge. You have money, Hasbro. So why would you okay this? Why would... I don't understand. Why would... Now, it's just it's costing you fans. It's costing you money. It's costing you good press. All for what? I don't. It's just, I'm an idiot. I guess I don't understand why you would make these choices. Fulfill the contract, and then say screw you. We're going to make everything in house, and then make better stuff than they make for cheaper, so people buy your stuff instead of their stuff. That's how you do it. Not. Not just say, fuck you, we're going to end the contract even though we have a contract and then go to court, hoping that it'll be settled out of court, which it probably will because we're at the end of the year. Any court cases that are being filed now won't actually see the docket to the beginning of next year, sometime in early, late January, early February, if you know how the court system works. Now, most in these types of situations, corporate, corporate lawsuits, it's nine out of ten times you know, resolved out of court. Some agreement will be made between CEO and CEO. Money will change hands. Apologies will change hands. Things that, you know, licensing and sneaky corporate conspiracy bullshit will change hands. And everybody will be slightly happier. But still, you know, it'll ruin maybe some of the good press that Wizards of the Coast has. And ruin maybe some of the good press that Gales Force 9 has. But they're corporations. So in the end... It's, they don't really care about how people think of them as long as their, you know, stockholders and their board of directors are making money. Because as somebody who works for a corporation, I kind of sort of get how this works. So at the end, the only people who lose out is us. If you appreciate this content and want to hear no more gaming news, comment down below. If you don't appreciate this content and want me to stop posting gaming news, comment down below. If you're thinking of unsubscribing from the OGGM Adventures because I've some way offended you, let me know why so I can fix it. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to subscribe yet, please take a moment to subscribe now. Help me hit 300 subs by the end of the year. I know we said five, but let's face it, three. Uh, and since it is the holidays, if you're considering, you know... Maybe toss your coin to your Witcher, or better yet, support a, support a charity, because I will be doing Vlogmas Jingle Jam this year, trying to earn money for Primetime Sports Camp and COVID Relief. Talk to you losers later.